you guys should see the BB red dot in the top left corner of your screen and Sorry, guys, we're having tech support issues in my room. But today we are going to be doing a story from Miss Connie. Hold up on my screen so you can tell us about it. Hey, Miss, Miss Ashley, can you hear me better? Okay. We are all experiencing a little bit of tech difficulties today. Over the next couple of weeks, we are going to be reading some gingerbread cookie story and doing some activities and some comparing. And today, instead of one of us reading it to you, all of us are going to be reading. So with that said, we're going to let Miss Margaret get started. Hi, guys. We are reading The Gingerbread Man, retold by Jim Aylesworth. Once upon a time, there was a little old man and a little old woman. One day, they were having a conversation. Let's make a gingerbread man. Yes, let's do it. Have you ever made a gingerbread man? Use your yes or no cards or you can sign. Molly, have you made a gingerbread cookie before? Miss Connie, I know a secret. Molly and her mom are going to try and make gluten-free gingerbread cookies this weekend. That sounds yummy. You better go. So they mixed up the batter and rolled out the dough and they shaped the little arms and they shaped the little legs and they shaped the little head. And with raisins, they made the little eyes and the little nose and the little mouth. And then with sugar glaze, they dressed him in a fancy suit of clothes. What do you think the little old man and the little old woman will do next? Will they A, eat the gingerbread man, B, put the gingerbread man in the oven, or C, go to sleep? What do you think they're going to do next? Mm, I see my friends are all telling me B. They're going to put him in the oven. Let's read on and see if we're right. When all was set, they put the gingerbread man into the oven and they waited. Pretty soon the gingerbread man was ready and so were they. How do you know when the gingerbread cookie is done? A, when they are golden brown. B, when they're glossy and wet. Or C, when they are black. Oh, and I see all my friends are saying A, and you are right. You cook them until they're golden brown. Mm. 
Miss Margaret, you're muted. When they opened the oven door, out popped the gingerbread man and he ran across the floor. The little old man and the little old woman could hardly believe their eyes. The gingerbread man looked up at them, put his little hands on his hips and said, Run, run, as best as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The little old man reached down to grab him, but quick as a wink, the gingerbread man ran out the door and down the road and the little old man and the little old woman ran after him. Come back. Come back. But the gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said, No, no, I won't come back. I'd rather run than be your snack. And he ran, and he ran, and he ran. And after a time, he met a butcher standing in front of his shop. The gingerbread man put his little hands on his hips and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I ran from a husband, I ran from a wife, and I ran from you too. I can, I can. What kind of food does a butcher sell? A, meat. B, paper products like toilet paper and paper towel, or C, canned goods? And again, all of my friends are showing me A. Molly, do you think they're right? Yes or no? You think a butcher sells meat, Molly? Yes, he does. All right, let's see what happens next. The butcher reached down to grab him, but quick as a week, the gingerbread ran, man ran on down the road and the butcher ran after him. Come back. And not far behind, the little old man and the little old woman were yelling too. Come back, come back. Come back. back. But the little gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said, No, no, I won't come back. I'd rather run from you than be your snack. And he kept on running, and he ran, and he ran, and he ran. And after a time, he met a black and white cow. The gingerbread man looked up at her, put his little hands on his hips, and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I've run from a husband, and I've run from a wife. I've run from a butcher with a carving knife. And I'll run from you too, I can, I can. The black and white cow reached out to grab him, but as quick as a wink, the gingerbread man ran on down the road and the black and white cow ran after him. Come back. And not far behind, little old man and the little old woman and the butcher with the knife were yelling too. Come back, come back, come back. But the little gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said,
Ash, can you back up to 22, please? And after a time, he met a muddy old sow. The gingerbread man looked up at her, put his little hands on his hips and said, Run, run, as best as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I ran from a husband, I ran from a wife. I ran from the butcher with a carving knife. I ran from a cow, all black and white. I'll run from you too. I can, I can. <laughs> Can we pause for a second? I'm having tech issues. Why she's fixing her tech issues. Does anybody know what a sow is? What's another word for sow? Isn't that some sort of a cow? Pig. Yep, you're right, it's a pig. We should be all set. Ash, we need to be on slide 24. The muddy old sow reached out to grab him, but as quick as a wink, the gingerbread man ran on down the road and the muddy old sow ran after him. Oi, oi, come back, come back. <laughs> and not, I'm sorry, that tickled me. And not far behind the little old man and the little old woman and the butcher with the knife and the black and white cow were yelling too. Come, come back, back. Come, come back, back. Come, back. Oh. come back, come back. But the little gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said, No, no, I won't come back. I'd rather run than be your snack. And he kept on running. Do you think anyone will catch the gingerbread man? Yes or no? Ooh, some of my friends think he will get caught and others don't. Let's finish the story and see. And he ran and he ran and he ran. And after a time, he met a fox. The little gingerbread man looked at him, put his little hands on his hips and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I've run from a husband, I've run from a wife. I've run from a butcher with a carving knife. I've ran from a cow, I've ran from a muddy old sow, and I'll run from you too. I can, I can. What did you say? The tricky fox pretended that he couldn't hear well. I'm not as young as I used to be. You'll have to come closer and speak louder. The gingerbread man stepped closer and in a loud voice said, Run, as fast as you can. 
can't. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I've run from a husband and I've run from a wife. I've run from the butcher with the Kirby knife. I've run from a cow. I've run from a muddy old sow. And I run from you too. I can, I can. Just then, the little old man and the little old woman and the butcher with the knife and the black and white cow and the muddy old sow came running around a turn in the road and they were yelling, Come, come back, come back, back come, come back, back, come back, come back. Come come back. back. Come back. But the little gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder, but before he could say a single word, the fox jumped up and grabbed him. And as quick as a wink, before he could think, the gingerbread man was gone. The little old man and the little old woman and the butcher with the knife and the black and white cow and the muddy old sow all stood and stared sadly at the fox. He hadn't left a single crumb for anyone. Riddle, riddle, ran, fiddle, fiddle, fan. So ends the tale of the gingerbread man. How are the rest of the characters feeling right now? You know, the little woman, man, the butcher, the cow, and the sow. Are they A, happy, B, sad, or C, excited. Oh, and looking, all of my friends said B, and you are right. They were all sad that the fox didn't leave them a single crumb. So in your packages, you received a cutout of a gingerbread man and a Ziploc bag with some pieces. Your job is use the pieces in the bag or anything you might have at home if you have crayons, marker, sequins, ribbon, and you are to decorate and make your gingerbread man. And then you can return them to school and we'll hang them up or you can send us a picture of your finished gingerbread man. But you also can decide if you want to make it a girl. So if I wanted mine to be a girl, I could put a bow in her hair, or maybe I could use some flowers for buttons. So you have to decide how you want to decorate your gingerbread cookie. So Miss Ash, do we have any reminders to tell our friends today? The only reminder is at 1030, we have Tiger Zoom News. And for students that are all virtual, you are invited to join us every single day, Monday through Friday at 1030. So Ms. Connie and I will be updating, or it's the same link as the one for Wednesdays that you got on your learning menu and in your email. So you can just use the same link every day at 1030 and join us for student news. At 11 o'clock today, virtual students only are invited to join Ms. Connie and I for a activity, which is a brand new session as well. And at 1130, we have TTN6 News today. Well, that does it for our story today. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Next week, we're going to give you a little hint we are going to be reading a story about the gingerbread girl see you all soon